music muffins and welcome to self care tips part 3 I'm sorry that the video looks kind of different I don't have my like normal computer at home at the moment I've literally just got my laptop with my webcam hooked into it the webcam is a lot lower down than it usually is because it's not as tall as my normal computer screen so that's why it looks different but anyway hopefully that's not a problem and hopefully it still looks good so let's get in with another 10 tips tip number one is a tip for staying hydrated if it helps you to do it get yourself a nice water bottle that's what I did recently and it's really helped me I'll show you this is my water bottle how cool and cute is this it's so adorable I call it my socially acceptable for adult sippy cup. If you never had sippy cups as a kid, then that won't make any sense. This is what I drink my water out of. It's got a straw built into it. How cool is that, guys? I love it. And it didn't cost me that much. And ever since buying this, I drink so much more water. So seriously, guys, it could really help. I just got that one from Sainsbury's, so just like a normal supermarket kind of thing. So you could probably find one somewhere. Moving on to tip number two, do something creative because when you create something, it feels like an accomplishment and you have something that you can be proud of. And not only that, but it can also be like really therapeutic and like it, it can focus your mind away from bad thoughts and things that you don't want to think about like if you're painting or drawing or making some music or writing a story or poem or something you're thinking about what you're doing and it kind of focuses your mind on that instead and also as well it can be really cathartic and help you get your emotions out and express your thoughts and feelings rather than just bottling them up and it being a jumbled mess inside your head and so of course that's always helpful and it can help you to just manage things a bit more and just help get things out sometimes that's what I do with music and even with drawing as well and recently I've done some like painting and that's really helped oh my gosh I need to show you what I painted right there don't you be don't you be going anywhere okay just wait, wait. I'm back okay so I painted this music muffin cup how cool is this oh my gosh I love it so much it's so cute and look I did like little sprinkles on the pink ones and like on the chocolate ones I did like little chocolate pieces they look so tasty <laughs> Wait, but then I've got like all these musical symbols on it as well. I'm probably never gonna drink out of it because it's too pretty. I'll probably just use it for like putting things in, like pens and pencils and stuff. It's so cute. I love it and I'm so proud of it. But when I was painting it, I was like not even really thinking about the things I was worried about because my mind was just so focused on what I was doing and like the movements of the paintbrush and all that stuff and honestly it was so fun as well and I feel so accomplished now that it's finished so I definitely recommend that as a thing to do um yeah I has an email I'm gonna read it just in case it's important tip number three is when you have things to do that seem unmanageable and just like oh my god I'm never gonna be able to do this just break it down into small little chunks it doesn't matter how small you have to make them to make it manageable and seem doable just break it down as much as you need to and what you can do is write down all the steps so that when you do one bit you can tick it off and you'll feel really good which can help you to then want to tick off more things and then before you know it you've got a whole thing done and you feel more productive which is obviously what you want when you have things to do is to get the things done and sometimes you can be like I'm just so not motivated and you just don't want to do anything but breaking it down and making to-do lists as well can be so helpful it really helps me maybe it will help you I don't know but maybe try it out and let me know how it goes and hopefully it'll be good and I'm just waffling <laughs> Tip number four is to make sure that you eat properly, so to have proper meals and have 
a decent amount of food and make sure you're getting the right balance of all the different food groups and stuff to get all the things you need. If you don't eat and you don't get all the things that you need then you can feel unwell and yeah your body won't thank you for that. Your body uh, needs food and energy so without it you're not going to be able to function properly which is both physical and mental because obviously the two things are connected. If you're feeling better physically you're going to be better mentally as well so yeah and that takes me straight into tip number five segue Whoa. i don't know what that was i'm so weird tip number five is about exercise now i know that that on its own doesn't cure you and it's really annoying when people are just like oh you just need to go for a run you'll be fine or oh just go outside and you'll be magically cured like no that's not how it works stop saying stuff like that if you're one of those people please <laughs> it's so mean it's not enough on its own but with other things like medication or eating properly and all the other stuff that i've said before and all the things i'm gonna say after this point all those things together can make such a big difference and exercising like produces feel good hormones and gets adrenaline out and stuff and it can even give you time to think as well depending on what you're doing it can help you solve problems and stuff like sometimes when people need to make big decisions they'll go for a run or something because it can help clear your mind so it's good for you mentally and physically definitely so try and find an activity that you like it doesn't have to be the same one that everyone else is doing and if there's like a club or something you can join that's really helpful that's what i did that's what my sister did there was like like we have a, a running club locally and we join that so like we have people to support us and stuff when we go on runs which is super helpful and yeah it's easier to mo be motivated when you have people encouraging you than just having to motivate yourself and battling with your own mind and as well like even if it's just once a week to begin with uh just try and make sure that it's regular and even if you don't do it for very long to start with it can be 10 minutes just start with that and build up a little bit at a time and then before you know it you'll be doing like an hour every day or something and that would be awesome of course and when, and when you've achieved something like running a certain distance or working out for a certain amount of time you'll feel so proud of yourself because you'll have achieved a goal and it might make you want to achieve more goals and beat your records like your times and distances and stuff it feels good when you achieve something like that and obviously the more you achieve and feel proud of yourself for things the better you can feel about yourself generally if that makes sense probably not but yeah exercise guys get out there and get fit and boom <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so weird. Tip number six is to think about things that you really want to do and you can even write a bucket list if you want to. I'm pretty sure most of you know what a bucket list is, but if you don't, it's basically a list of things that you want to do in your lifetime before you die, basically. So yeah, basically. <laughs> I'm saying basically way too much. Uh, stop it. This can drive you to keep going and overcome obstacles in order to achieve those particular goals. And obviously, when you achieve one goal, it can make you more motivated to achieve the other goals. It's kind of like the previous thing. You do a little thing, and then it makes you want to do another thing, and that makes you want to do another thing, and then it just explodes basically yeah bucket list that is something that i've started actually i have a list of things i've done some of them already like i wanted to see coldplay in concert i've done that i wanted to see them in the stadium as well i've done that i wanted to be like responded to by a youtuber on tumblr that's happened and even got a comment on one of my videos which is crazy but yeah that that actually happened so that was amazing and it makes me want to carry on with life and do more things and like yeah i just have so many goals and so many dreams and things and i know that you guys will have dreams too so go chase them write them down think about things that you want to do and i'm talking about this for way too long so cut tip number seven is kind of a hard one but you try and get up earlier in the morning you'll have to force yourself at first i'm not gonna lie to you but it will help in the long run. It can help sort out your sleep schedule and it means you have more time in the day to get stuff done. And that can make you less stressed about those things. And like, I find now I have time to like, chill out and take my time with things like getting ready in the morning stuff and I can chill out in the evening and still have time to get my work done. 
um, which is amazing considering like I used to find it hard to get up even at like midday some days I got up like two or three in the afternoon maybe even later if it was a really bad day and my I wasn't getting to sleep until like five in the morning whereas now I couldn't be asleep by like 12 1 which is still quite late um, and then I try and get up at like 9, 9.30 every morning, which is obviously quite a difference. I still have to force myself to do it, but it is getting slightly easier than it was when I started. I get to sleep a lot earlier and faster than I used to, and I wake up less in the night, and because it's like darker, because I go to bed when it's actually night time, not nearly morning time, I'm actually staying asleep more because the light wakes you up and stuff, so I stay asleep more so I get more deep sleep so I get more high quality sleep so even if I get the same amount as I was getting before I still feel less tired. Sleep is important and it's something you should try and sort out if you have problems with it because sometimes sorting that out first can make a huge difference like since starting trying to sort out my sleep cycle, sleep um, schedule that's the word I was looking for, um, I feel like I haven't had as many down days and even if I have they haven't been as bad as they were and I've had more energy to do things and yeah it's just really made so much of a difference that is why I think you guys should try and do it I mean I know it's hard I know that if you're tired in the morning and it's just like it just seems impossible to get out of bed um trust me i know what that feels like i'm not trying to say to you that suddenly i expect it to be easy to get up early but it really does help you to do it and you do have to force yourself at first but you can do it muffin i believe in you yay tip number eight is when you make a mistake don't beat yourself up for it okay no. Everyone makes mistakes, but that's because we're all human and human beings make mistakes. That's just what we do. You can't expect perfection from yourself because that's just expecting too much. Because I'm sure you wouldn't expect that from anybody else, so don't expect it from yourself. When you make a mistake, forgive yourself for it and move on and work work out how to do better next time if something like that happens think well oh well that wasn't right but i know what to do now so if this happens again hopefully i won't make the same mistake beating yourself up for making your mistakes it wastes energy and time you could spend on thinking about how to improve the situation and how to avoid the mistake next time see your mistakes as a learning opportunity rather than an opportunity to punish yourself stop it if you're doing that please because i love you and i don't want you to do it okay okay next point point number nine is for any of you guys out there who take medication for anything if you have to take it make sure you do it regularly there is no shame at all in taking medication do whatever you have to do to make yourself feel better you know taking it regularly will ensure that you have the best chance of improving and if it doesn't improve you should see your doctor and tell them that it's not really working for you and they can change it or they can increase the dose that you're on if they think that maybe that's why it's not working the first two medications that i was on for anxiety did nothing for me at all and then the one I'm on now, what I was on half the dose I'm on now, and I wasn't doing anything, but they increased it. And at first it didn't seem to do much, but then almost overnight, I had more energy and I was able to wake up earlier and stuff, and it's really made a difference. So even if it doesn't seem like it's working, don't give up, keep trying, you'll find something that works for you eventually. It could change your life potentially, so don't let the stigma around medication stop you from improving your life and improving your mental health because you deserve to be mentally well and physically. The last one, point number 10. I don't know why I decided to sing that. I'm a music muffin. I'm allowed to sing whenever I want. Point number 10 is just about how all work and no play is really bad 
for you.、Um, while work is important, you need to take breaks and give yourself some me time. And like, well, whether it's watching videos or listening to your favorite music, whatever you like to do, you need to give yourself time for those things. In the day, a good time for me is before bed because then it means I'm all calm before going to sleep. Doing work just before bed is a really bad idea because it stimulates your brain and it can make you stressed about the work and make makes your brain think about it too much. And you don't want that just before going to sleep. You could have nightmares about your homework. No one wants that. You need to take your mind away from the stresses of work sometimes, and you know, you give yourself time to rest. And like I said, just make sure. Fucking <coughs> book.、Uh. Sorry about that. Getting up earlier and having more time in the day helps with this because now I have time. To do those things that relax me without thinking, oh my god, I should be working right now. I haven't got this thing done. Ah, it's no longer procrastination. It's actually just having a break, like a, you know, like I'm supposed to, and it really does make a difference to my stress levels overall because I'm not constantly thinking I should be working, and then when I'm working, I'm constantly thinking, oh, I wish I could have a break, and it just doesn't work. Properly, you shouldn't be working for hours and hours without resting your mind. If you think about it, right? If you're going to run and your legs are getting tired, you'd slow down a bit or even walk. And you know, that's because you need to give your body a rest. And your brain is the same. You have to rest it and let it.、Um, what's the word? And let it recuperate and recharge. Your brain doesn't have an infinite battery up here. It has to rest. Give yourself breaks, okay? You, you better, you better do it. Otherwise, I'm gonna come around there and I'm gonna hug some sense into you like this. Big hugs. <laughs> I can't actually hug you, so I'll just hug myself and pretend it's you. <laughs> oh, my headband is falling. So anyway, that was another ten self-care tips. Hopefully, they were helpful to you, and hopefully, they'll make a difference and just help you on the road to getting better or seeking help. Or I guess that's kind of to do with that, but. You know what I mean. I just want what's best for you, and I want you to be happy and healthy, which I'm not yet, but I'm getting there. Sometimes it's all about making little steps and pushing yourself a little bit more. Hopefully, this video will be a useful one, and I don't know why I'm just waffling at the end of the video. I do this all the time. I don't know why you guys haven't just gone. That's how you talk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm such a silly muffin. Thank you for watching, music muffins. And if you enjoyed it, show that like button some love. And if you want to see more videos, then you know what you need to do. Obey the cushion, and I'll see you next time. Love you guys. Bye.